Kasavlu Gunam, also known as Kasavlu Guna Ruthnam Naidu was a South African doctor and anti-apartheid activist. She was also called Kuli Doctor, which became the title of her 1991 autobiography. At first, she met racist discrimination, which denied her entry for hospital posts caused by white nurses' refusal to take orders from an Indian doctor. Then, she established a medical practice, among black and Asian women in Durban, who came to know that drive. Gunam would meet their needs, especially for reproductive health care, with understanding and discretion. She became involved with organizations like Child Welfare and Friends of the Sick Association FOSA. In 1939, she becomes vice chairperson of Non-Europe United which was established in Natal. She was also active with the Natal Indian Congress, and was elected as the vice president and later became acting president. She became the committee member of the Anti-Segregation Council ASC, with Monty Nayiker as chairman which was formed to oppose voluntary segregation on 28 April 1944. On the Indian Passive Resistance Campaign 1946 which opposed Asiatic Land Tenure and Indian Representation Act 1946, she becomes the leader of the march for the third day of the campaign with Rev. Michael Scott. She became one of the volunteers to be court, imprisoned and in one of her court, said I plead guilty and ask the court to impose the maximum sentence, permitted by law. In occupying the resistance camp I was protesting against that oppressive and pernicious law recently enacted against my people, who had no part in framing it. The act spells disaster, ruin and a state of semi-serfdom to our people who contributed greatly to the prosperity of this country. South Africa we are reminded frequently, is a democratic country. I am here to vindicate this interpretation of democracy. On 29 June 1946, Drive. Gunam was sentenced for six months with seven days hard labor. In addition to seven days, hard labor suspended for three months, which she had been sentenced to, under the Riotous Assemblies Act on 25 June 1946. However, after four months the sentence was suspended. Gunam has been imprisoned 17 times caused of her political activities. During the 1950s, she helped India's deputy health minister and Sushila Nayar to supervise family planning programs as a government committee on New Delhi. Her political activities continued, including hosting meetings of the in her medical offices in 1961 with Theo Kloppenberg, Eleanor Casserles, Pumani Moodley. She left South Africa for England in 1978 to escape harassment from security officer for her own safety. Before she left, she founded Helping Hands Society to help family which was costed away from Clarewood and Cato Manor into Chatsworth. She continued to practice medicine for Indian refugees from Uganda and Kenya, before moving to Australia and Zimbabwe. She returned to South Africa in 1990, after Nelson Mandela was released from prison. She voted in the 1994 South African elections. Also in 1994, she called for the disbanding of the Natal Indian Congress, saying now is the time to go. She published her autobiography, Cooley Doctor, in 1991.